here at Rose Avenue, we're looking at finding ways to integrate and incorporate the TDSB's mental health focus into our school improvement plan and specifically into daily instruction and curriculum. We know that many children have anxieties, worries, and feel stressed at times, and if we can embed meaningful exercises, discussions, and activities into our teaching to help promote healthy minds and help children feel relaxed and more focused, this will likely help children to concentrate more effectively and be ready to learn. At our school, we have monthly character assemblies to help promote character development and healthy relationships. Our students also have opportunities to be involved in music, sports and dance, which are certainly disciplines that help students develop their social and emotional learning. Another strategy that some of our teachers are exploring this year is implementing a curriculum called the Mind Up Curriculum into their teaching. This video demonstrates some of the strategies that can be used to help children build resiliency and their capacity to learn. You will see a short clip of our kindergarten teachers working with our youngest children on the idea of being mindful and how we are feeling, and then a grade six class that is using breathing and meditation to promote relaxation and focus. We're going to try something. Santi Van, come here, please. Mohammed, come here, please. Watch. Boys, I'd like you to stand here, face your friends. And I want you to jump up and down ten times. Watch them. Go. Stop. You're right here. Remember your pulse. Put your finger here. Is it fast or slow? Fast. It's fast. Have a seat. Have a seat. Emily, touch your pulse. You're sitting nice and quietly. Is it fast or is it slow? And then I remember, we've learned a way to help ourselves calm down. How do we help ourselves calm down after we've been running? Is, I know a lot of you were screaming outside, which is fine. It's a good place to yell and scream when you're outside. But how do we calm our bodies down? Camilla was already doing it, and I saw who stopped doing it as well. How do we do that? Maybe how do we make our bodies calm? Um, first, um, um, have a, a good day, a good or have a rest. Then you come, then you will come and cut your hands with me, and you will sit down and don't touch the bed. Mm -hmm. Today we didn't touch the bed. So maybe can you show us your body taking that breath and and helping yourself calm down? So show us. We're just gonna watch you, and then we'll do it. So should we take a breath so we can? Calm, and then we'll do the next part of the activity. So remember your hands on your tummy if you want, so you can feel the air going in. And and close your eyes if you want. So let all those things go. Some of you came in a little bit upset. If something's going to happen, let that go. It's over. Letting the breath out when you come down. Okay, open your eyes. How do you feel now? Good. Put a hand up. How do you feel? We picked a girl for the last part. Let's pick a boy. No, you the girl. How do you feel, Miss Here? stay as still as you can while the sound is still ringing. And when the sound is finished, I want you to start thinking about your breath in and out. Right, so when you were thinking about the sound, or like we were talking yesterday, thinking about your breath, it kind of helps clear your mind a little bit so you're not thinking about, oh my goodness, it's way out. Oh my goodness, math test. Oh my goodness, all these other things. Soccer, team, practice, triad, all this other stuff. So when you are faced with a challenge, you can use your breathing or a sound like this to help you clear your mind a little bit and relax. 